So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to render an image to the screen. So we've got one image here, and it is my background. Uh, and I'm literally just going to fill this image uh, to the window. The window is just going to be just this image, all right? This image is going to fill the window. And so I have it in the My Game Images folder. I've just placed it in there. Uh, but I'm going to uh, go here into the Package Explorer, open up My Game Desktop, or My Game Android, uh, whatever one, I just prefer to use desktop. Open up assets, you'll see this data, just delete that. Okay, so you can see this assets folder, that's where all your images and sounds go. You can org you can put in subfolders and organize them, so I'm just going to put in a folder. Uh, so main menu, say main menu, alright, and uh, I can just pop that in there. And it's in there. And It'll also pop up in the Android assets as well. The Android and the desktop ones are synchronized. I think the HTML one built off the source, the desktop, and the HTML one. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we've we've got our image in there. Uh, so how are we going to render it? All right. Well, well, let's do this thing. I've got to just. I don't know why that's private. I really don't. Uh, but whatever. So first thing we need to create is a sprite batch. Batch. That's just basically going to process and render all of our sprites. And I'm going to go through what a sprite is in just a second. Now this batch equals new sprite batch. No promises. Alright. Uh, so now we've got that. We're also going to have a texture. I think this is a good point, a uh, good good time now to point out that um, in variables they're usually separated uh, by underscore, uh, either underscore or in uh, like that. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. Uh, so you can't space them out. You can't you can't do that. Uh, that's not allowed. Um, anything else stupid that people might do? You can't separate them with a dollar sign. You can separate them with the dollar sign, but nobody does it. Uh, what what are the stupid ways are there? Hyphen, no. Uh, it's usually underline or that. Okay, just okay. And I got a texture and a sprite. So oh, what's the difference? The texture is is just the image. Okay, literally the texture is just the image. The sprite is kind of like the 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 game object version of it. It's kind of like the rend the version you render. You can render a texture, but it's better to render a sprite because sprite batch is sprite. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, but genuinely it is better to just render a sprite. So now that we've got that out of the way, I, I want to clear up something else. LibGDX, what it likes to do is actually, I think this would be better off explaining paint. You don't have to open paint, I've just got it open for demonstration purposes, but let, let's march on. So you've got your axes, right? You've got your Y, You've got your excuse my dodgy handwriting. I'm, I'm writing with a mouse. Just yeah, bear with me. So you've got your, your x and y axes, uh, and normally in in mathematics this would be zero. Uh, this would be however if because we're designing for 1920 by 1080, essentially our x is 1920 by 1080. Essentially, that's how it should work, right? Well, normally uh, in game programming, the Y is switched around. It's, it's also seen in Illustrator and Photoshop. The Y is actually switched around. Uh, so if I just, is it? You know what? Is can I get a bigger one? Is that, is that too much to ask? Fine. Really should have made a small row, but okay. I can get through this, I can fight through it. Uh, where was I? Ah, yes. Why is this different? What? Okay. Alright, there we go. That's how it usually is, okay? We usually work from O at the top. O is usually the top left for game programmers. Uh, any software engineer is always usually the top. And uh, whatever is the bomb. 
libgdx actually uses it the normal mathematical way, uh, with O at the bottom and whatever at the top. I don't like that, and it's not very handy to have it like that. Uh, especially if you're using Illustrator and Photoshop to pinpoint uh, your objects, I guess. Uh, you will see this coming into play uh, soon. You will see why I like to have this flipped. O at the top and stuff. So to flip it, what we have to do is we actually have to set this to false. And you literally just change that. However, there's also another thing. You have to flip your sprites as well. Uh, so we'll do that in a minute. So for now, let's just set our texture. So texture equals new texture. Whoops. Texture equals new texture. GDX.files dot internal and then you literally get the folder so what, what what's the folder it's the, it's the menu folder assets no it, it already knows it's looking in the assets so it's the menu folder and the back image so menu slash back dot png or dot jpeg or dot gif whatever the hell um, we need to make the static no oh right yeah yeah, yeah. all right uh, we also need to, uh, yes, we also need to set the filter. Damn it! This is this is so. Uh, ooh, how do I explain this? Um, this is so when we enlarge in it or whatnot, it's not messed up, okay? Or when we scale it, it's when we scale it, it's not messed up. We're not going to scale it libgdx is, but whatever. All right, now we got that down. Now for the sprite, sprite back equals new sprite and we're just gonna pass in the texture and sprite back dot flip we're gonna flip it uh, y ways so y is true x is false we're not gonna flip it x ways so that's false we're gonna flip it y ways so that's true four lines of code just for one image that, that seems like a, a quite a bit and it is so what people tend to do is well, what I tend to do is, anyways, uh, I like to make a new dedicated, not interface, a new class called Assets. And literally, I make a public static void load method. I put all my graphical loading uh, shit in there. So good. Put all of it in there. The objects, uh, the texture and sprite objects in there as well. However, I do have to make them public and static. And there we go. And then we can just go to our game screen and call the load method. So, in fact, we can call them as soon as we create the game. That, that would be logical. Okay. So just delete anything we don't need. Now for the actual rendering. Uh, so let's scroll down to our uh, render method which is here uh, above the camera update we're gonna go gdx dot gl dot gl clear color 1f 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 just bear with me you'll see what this is gdx dot gl dot gl clear gl10 gl color buff a bit. I am probably thinking, what the fuck have I just written? Well, okay. What this does is it it clears the screen to I believe white. So this is the red. How much red do you want? And it ranges from O to one F. How much uh, green do you want? Ranges from O to one F. And how much uh, uh, blue do you want? And that ranges from O to one F. And this is how transparent you want it. And that ranges from O to one F. So that, that should be fairly simple. This, what is this? This is kind of, this basically clears the canvas and allows you to draw on it, basically. So yeah, so let, let's try running this. Uh, we need the main method from the desktop. All right, run that. And it indeed clears it to white. I have an email. Let's see what it says. Give it a second to come, to come through as a notification. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, so I'm actually going to make this grey because I like grey. We're not going to see the back anyways, uh, but 
In your game, we might see the back. Who knows? Maybe you you, you want a consistent back for a, a consistent background color for a specific screen. Who knows? But I, I want this gray. Awesome. All right, so we're actually getting colors on the screen as well. Whoa, awesome. Uh, so below this uh, camera update, you're gonna do a batch dot set projection made. Tricks camera dot combine that basically resizes everything. All, all that resizes the uh, sprite batch to the actual screen size that we're running on. That basically scales everything. Batch dot begin. Batch dot end. And here is right where you write your rendering code. All right. So. I'm actually gonna go batch dot draw, and first it won't. Oh, okay, we don't. We actually don't need that many uh, parameters. So uh, I'm gonna draw assets. It wants a sprite or a texture or whatever to draw. So I'm gonna give it the uh, sprite back, and I'm gonna draw O. And oh, that's the top left. So it's gonna start from. It's gonna start drawing from the top left. That's what we want. And there we go. I think we forgot to flip it. Okay, well that, that's meant to be true. True means sorry. Uh, true means Y down. My apologies. My apologies. True means uh, O at the top, and false means O at the bottom. That that is my bad. <laughs> but uh, it does work, and uh, we we can just literally resize this to whatever we like. So I'm gonna put it 720p. Okay, my 720. Uh, yeah, we run this one. Awesome. Uh. Feel free to go ahead and download that background. Uh, yeah. Awesome. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.